How are you doing? Good. Good. Today we are here with yet another episode of Kipo and the Age of Wonder Beasts, specifically Season 1, Episode 3, Real Cats Were Plaid. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. The past couple episodes have been very energetic, I think is uh, a good word to describe them. Really, uh, really energetic. Uh, very fun. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this develops, if we get some more of the crew, or if this is uh, what it will be for uh, for a bit. And looking forward to seeing that, uh, that finely dressed frog some more. He is a, a sick beat that they play. Uh, they play a lot of sick beats, as it turns out, but without any further ado, let us begin. Oh, is this back when she was no. down under? Why? <laughs> Does it look like I'm holding up? No, you are clearly not holding up. But uh, while we're waiting, <laughs> tell me, what minerals are in most abundance at this stratum? Dad, that's easy! Oh, I that's your dad, dad I see. Two of my favorite ites. If you can aim. From what we know, from what we're aware, he kind of got swept up when that... Oh, is this the attack that's going on? I did read that. Yeah. They found us. Did you know they used to look like horses before they went into the water? Uh, he's getting some... Ing he knows what's up, huh? Some quick thinking. Quick thinking that... Clearly saved them, or saved uh, Kipo at least. Oh, and then that's what blocks it off. It kind of looks like a stake. It's okay. You gotta keep a lot okay. That's what matters. The rest. Good for you. You got his priorities straight. Save your kid. Piece of cake. What is that thing? I'm sure we'll find out. But, but uh, her dad's quick on his feet. Quick thinker. Really saved her. And then episode one begins shortly after that, right? She washes up out of the drainage pipe. And then our journey begins. Oh, Dave, oh timber cats. So. Cats just gonna kill him. Oh, so that's. I was wondering about that because they seem to have an established relationship, uh, despite being a larva of that other episode. So I guess it's just a very quick turnover, right? <clears throat> that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, the way their plaid design is put on kind of reminds me of Chowder. How they're just static and they don't move with them. You can't know that for sure, Mom. These two could do that. Jesus. So just pulled it. Not without Yum Yum Hammer Paul. So it looks like two communities were destroyed, huh? Looking for is the same one who destroyed my city. What if my people didn't get away? What if it took them? We should team up with these cats That's to find it. We have an enemy uh, in common. Oh, cute. optimistic. Humans and mutes don't mix unless they're eating us. But they have an army. Well, you mean you have two mutes right here. That little <gasps> pig and that larva guy. Hi there. Um, no, Kippo. Coincidence? The mega mute Kipo. you're looking for? We're looking for Kipo. it too. Haven't tried. Man. They're always getting captured. Cat. Sure. Something tells me this isn't the kind of safe. Oh, so the community's still there. It's just their main tree, I guess. Man, they're fucking strong. Stand at attention! You're in front of the scratching. Man, those cats are big. Or where it formerly it was, like I suppose, yeah. Oh, how do I say it? Uh, not much Gone. of a tree? It's a really cool design. The show has a lot of cool designs, uh, officially. Oh, <laughs> poor fellas. Find him, and not for selfish reasons. Although we do need to win them over. It's just the right thing to do. Yeah. Lord of the Timber Cats. <laughs> or at least. Uh, what a he title. Was. Lord of the Timber Cats. 
sounds like quite the gig. Oh, sounds like sorry. oh, so long, Yumyun. Hardly knew you. that kind of gone. <laughs> I I see. I see. Sounds like Pierre, Yumyun's pet. You might want to. Can't rescue uh, him from that. I'm afraid. Keep going. Pretty headstrong. Surface dwellers, am I right? Need some of that burrow intuition, Keepo. Oh, what do we got going on here? What is that stuff? Ah, oh, that's gross. You can see through it. See it going down in the skull and stomach. It's You're gross, but I can't look away. I got it. We trade him to Scarlamane. Of course. Oh, the second time we've heard of a Scarlamane character. Do. Wait, you guys can't be serious. It sounds Not like the Scarlamane is a big deal. Uh, we need to talk about this. His name keeps coming up, and it's yeah. a freaky name. Picture it is a little freaky. Frightening thing imaginable. Now imagine something ten times worse. Get the idea? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, listen, before you do anything, Brad. Ooh, that's really cool. Some wall carvings. Just all of this hollowed out from a big old tree. I keep thinking I'll blink, and then magically Yum Yum will be there, bleeding our dinner like he always does. I feel dead inside. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus. Working through their grief, I guess. And my heart. Oh no, not your heart. Poor guy. Uh, read the room, Keepo, my dear. Read the room. Since he's passed on, I figured I could play it for him. Passed on? Whoever said that? He's just stuck up in a tree. Wait, what? what? All this time? Why don't you just climb up there and get him back down? <laughs> oh, so he's not even been dead. Above the canopy. No tipper cat has ever gone above the canopy. Except him, wow. obviously. Above the canopy. <laughs> Why would he do that? Oh, are all of their axes also guitars? He was Digging this beat. Keepo's having the time of her life, and I don't blame her. Now this uh, give them all hairballs, huh? <laughs> sure is a lot, my friend. Ooh. Her singing voice is... Protagonists slash main characters who sing. What happened? Were the lasers too A star much? added in my book. Oh, that's the, Jesus Christ. Stucky, I missed you. No. Uh, every kid needs uh, uh, something to uh, cling on to. Some teddy bears, in this case, a weapon. Uh, yeah, I hope we get some more of Kipo singing, like every minute of every episode. This is a new way to travel. Like don't that, that pig don't play no shit. Again with these sort of fast-paced, energetic sequences. At this point, it feels sort of redundant to point it out, but I just appreciate it every time I see it. You'd better be. Oh, reincorporating from uh, from the beginning that flashback of her climbing. Kipo, is this tree deciduous or coniferous? <laughs> coniferous means the leaves are green year round. I really like uh, Kipo's Kipo's character so far. 
a little choking I off of their own hair. And you know what? They need you a lot more than their tree. She's right. They need you, man. <laughs> uh, Maybe you're right. No, uh, oh, Kipo's like, what? So, uh, are you ready to go back down? Yeah, Kipo is the best reactions. <laughs> okay. Just, Kipo should be the one having the reaction channel, not me. Kipo owns you all! That's funny. Too funny. <laughs> he, he really is a badass, I guess. Badass disaster, but. That's not exactly the look I was going for. Guys! There you are! Yeah, it looks good. You know yeah. I said I Don't wanted worry. to hunt down that mega mute? And you were all like, yeah, you and what army? Well, guess what? The army! The army! <laughs> uh, Kipo. And that's that. Another episode of Kipo in the Age of Wonder Beasts down the drain. I enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying Kipo, actually. Um, what interests me about this show is that with some with a lot of other shows that I really like the f first episode I can tell right away what I think about it but not so much with Kipo it took me a little bit um, these first couple episodes to really get a good grasp about it you know where some shows I'm like oh, okay I know everything there is to know you know right out of the gate this type of show it's gonna be but this show keeps on surprising me in a good way and I'm liking what I've seen and I probably will continue to see um, after watching this episode as I was after watching the episode before and so forth. I'm even more excited about this show than I was. Uh, my excitement levels are rising rather than just a, a spike and then just a, a plateau, which is pretty cool if you ask me because, you know, now I get to appreciate each, you know, it goes, keeps on going up and up rather than just one flat plateau. Um, but yeah, I, when it comes to this episode in particular, it was really, uh, it was really great in a lot of ways. Uh, I liked the little visual design of their little community. Flashback in the beginning, uh, was pretty cool getting to see a little bit of what her sort of community was like, the burrow. And I am liking how well it just reincorporates things in the beginning to things later on. And the music uh, is, is great. Uh, the two trends I'm noticing a lot are uh, songs, which I like even more when they're like characters singing it. And it's not just some, you know, ambient song. And exciting kind of chase, kind of not, like animated sequences, which are really exciting, which we got another one here. And I'm really liking Kipo as a character so far. Her optimism, her eagerness, her uh, sort of volatile sort of antics are just uh, really fun to watch. And, you know, the... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just uh, really great so far. Uh, and I think next episode I'll be saying something similar to that of, you know, Episode 3, I had this one thought, and then epi now with this episode, I I have a whole new idea of what this show is, and I'm liking it even more. And, yeah, I'm starting to see why people uh, really enjoyed this show. Uh, so, if you want to see more, subscribe. Otherwise, have yourselves a wonderful day.